Good evening, everyone, and welcome back to this walkthrough of Dishonored 2. This is Blackjack Kent, and we are aboard the Dreadful Whale. Uh, we have been having a uh, crazy few days. A uh, couple days ago, or yesterday, we were the Empress of the Empire of the Isles. Oops. And today... We are a fugitive. Our father has been turned into stone, and we got visited by the devil. So, exciting times. Um, and I think we still have our. Out into the harsh world. You are alone, but for a few hours. Like a creepy heart that I hold in my hand. How cool is that, right? All right, so. Time to explore our bedroom a little bit here. And it doesn't seem to be too much, but we got some things to read. Letter from Emily. I thought I was Emily. Wyman. Oh, I'm okay. So this is, I guess this must be a couple days later then, because she's writing to Wyman, her boyfriend. Wyman, by now you must have heard about the coup in Dunwall. Don't worry, I'm safe, hiding far away with friends. I implore you, don't try anything reckless and don't go back to Gristal. Stay in Morley. There's nothing you can do against Delilah. I can't say I have a solid plan yet, but you know how well I improvise in desperate situations. Remember the time I kept a straight face during the watch officer's report, all while sitting at my desk without pants? <laughs> I like her. I like her so much. This is great. Uh, if I survive that, I'll get through all this. Oh, that's great. For now, I need to stay hidden and act alone. Trust me, we'll see each other again, I promise. Damn right. Alright, travel log. Oh, I can write things in it. Sweet. Oh, okay. These are like... Journal entries, I guess? Or if I double click them, does it take me back to the beginning or I'm afraid to check. <laughs> Alright, uh so New Year. We're starting a new year. Maybe 1852 will be less boring than 1851. I can't wait for Wyman to get back to Dunwall. We'll go to the abandoned mansion. I discovered the other night at the edge of Rudshore. Maybe I'll have time to turn it into a scary haunted house beforehand, using sheets and hiding an old audiograph upstairs. Wyman would love that. We'll get spooked and hold hands, screaming and laughing. Come on, Emily, you promised to be more serious and to listen at court, and you're already planning your next escape. Let's start this diary again. Proposals for a new decree on whale oil rationing and distribution. The anniversary. That time of year again. The anniversary of my mother's death. There's no real time for reflection, though. It's all security protocols, menus, guest lists, and it's impossible to slip out at night. I feel like a caged bird. They've already got me memorizing this year's speech. It's endless. Would it be so terrible if I just said what I remember about her? That wink she gave me even as she was scolding me after I was caught climbing the statue of my grandfather. The sound of her footsteps as she paced at night. The time we shared a cabin on a boat trip to Driscoll. Or the time she agreed to let Corvo teach me to fish, but then had to pull a hook from my arm. Now that would be a speech. Dishonored. My father is lost, turned to stone by Delilah. Those words don't even seem real. Witchcraft, something I would never have believed possible. But now I have to believe in it, so I can believe that it can be undone. Delilah claims to be my aunt, the rightful heir. Truth or lies? All I know is that she used magic to take my throne, aided by that weasel Duke of Bele. They must have been working on their plan for ye years. Buying disloyalty with promises, even Ramsay, captain of the City Watch, planting in everyone's mind the idea that my father and I could be responsible for those monstrous killings, that one or both of us were the crown killer. I'm not in a trusting mood, but Megan Foster says she knows Anton Sokolov, our old royal physician, and she helped me escape the coup. So she's all I have right now. We're sailing for Circonus. My Dunwall, my home, is no longer safe for me. But I never really was safe. I never really will be. The sooner I get that through my skull, the better. The Void. This time it wasn't a dream. I've read about the Void and the Outside, or imagined them. Now I've seen these wonders for myself. Strange doesn't begin to cover it. The Outsider has terrible eyes, black on black. He offered me something. I know these gifts come with a price, but how could I refuse? This power might give me the edge I need to defeat Delilah and Duke Abele. I'll worry about paying the cost later. And what price will I pay for his other gift? 
my mother's beloved voice trapped in the strangest contraption. It's both comforting and chilling to be able to talk to her again. And yet, it's not entirely the person I knew anymore. This thing, the heart, it's there and not there. I have to focus in a new way to even see it. We've arrived at the southernmost tip of the Empire. Strange fragrances all around. Salt, fish, spice. I don't know how to blend in here. I don't know what to eat or where to go. But this is where my father was born, so part of me belongs here too. And these are my people. Or they were until my throne was stolen by Delilah. I'm coming for you, Delilah, with my new powers. All I need now is a plan. Intense! This is gonna be awesome. I'm quite liking this game so far. Alright, got that off our chest. Pretty good. Alright. Do do do. Anything else worth looking at in here? Not really. Alright. No giant door to the void this time, so that's good. Alright, let's go out and talk to... Oh, sweet! Crossbow. Oh, what's this? Limited resources. It's not what you're used to living in a palace, but this is all the coin I could scrape up. Anton and I operated on a tight budget, and guess what? Now you do too. If it's not beneath you, pick up whatever valuables you find along your way. We'll need ammo and resources to take down the people behind the coup. Hidden all over the city, there are underground black market shops. Look for a symbol depicting two hands, which means there's a shop nearby. Follow the signs, they'll guide you. Buying from the black market is against the law, but it could make the difference against the Duke's military. Sokolov was working on this crossbow as a gift for you. If you need it modified, those shops can help with that as well, Megan. Sweet! How spiffy looking is that? I love it. Bitchin'. Alright. So we have an optional objective to find a black market shop. And we'll just take a look around the ship. Hi, Megan. Thank you for letting me stay. Maintenance list. Repair the things that got busted up in Anton's room when he was taken. It's been weeks now. No, scratch that. Not until I bring him back home. It's a show of faith that he will be coming back. Unblock the storage door. Looks like something fell on the other side, and I really need to sell the stuff locked up in there to make some coin. Pay the port tax and the the look-the-other-way fees to those Grand Guard bastards before they wonder who my passenger is this time. I'll do it when I get the money. Wait, so Sokolov got taken, too? I can't remember if we knew that. Daft old man. This is some shit. Back to that city. What would we have done in the old days? Right. Can't go in there just yet. Presumably it's hurting me over to talk to Megan, but... I'm a gamer, that means I gotta go poke every direction that I can before anything happens. Alright. Nothing to see here, though, unless I want to go to the bathroom. Talk to we'll talk to Megan first. Hello. You're up. Yep. When you're ready to talk, I'll tell you what I know. Uh okay. We'll look around first. In here. We've been en route for two weeks. I hope Sokolov is alright. So two weeks and Sokolov has disappeared. Blood of the Abele House, Chapter 4. This chapter will focus on Edithia Abele, steward of Calero. With sword in hand, she swept the marshes of raiders, sacrificing her life for Sokonos. We will provide newly uncovered insights into the exploits of Rabinos Abele, who built the ornate wooden bridges of Segunto. Follow along as we map out the expansions occurring under the Abeles, through which trade routes to the other isles were established, bringing riches to the nation-state. Even as waves of settlers continue to join Circonos from Morley, the Abele's bansled, ba- huh, bansled? Balanced, balanced growth against Circonan culture. In later chapters, we will detail the times of Theodanus Abele, true son of Circonos, bla- brave and benevolent. Wow, I can't talk today. Brave and benevolent, he united the East and West as no other before him. Even the rowdy people of Bastillion swore loyalty to him. One Isle, one Circonus, united under House Abele. Lastly, we will settle on Luca Abele, who rules today, partaking in feasts and merriment of all kinds, bringing joy to our fair isle. And, you know, leading coups and being an asshole. So, there's that. All 
Alright, what else we got? Map! It looks like the overland route to the Adermeyer Institute goes through the carriage station. What is the Adermeyer Institute? Is the crown killer hiding in Adermeyer? I have no idea. Are they? Adermeyer Solution. Protect- Oh, they're the people who make the mana stuff, I guess? Hey, Sokolov! Why was Sokolov abducted and not killed? Sokolov seems so much older now. Wanted poster. So, the crown killer was a tool of the Duke's coup. The murders had a calculated effect. Asshole, Delilah! Naka looks pretty from a distance, but it's a city on the way down. And the blood flies are bad this year. Ew. Delilah. My aunt, if that's really true. She has a twisted way of looking at the world. I had a, uh, somebody comment on one of my videos that uh, Delilah actually appears in one of the DLCs to Dishonored 2, which I did not play, um, called The Witches of... Oh, God. Hang on. I need to look it up. I can't remember what it's called. I keep thinking The Witches of Eastwick, but that's a book. Um, Brig the Brigmore Witches, I think? checking as we speak. But anyway, um, yes, the Brigmore Witches. Um, and she, so she was one of the characters in that. So if we had played that, she would be more familiar. But, as it is, we still don't like her. She's still a douche. So there's that. I don't know Duke Luca Abel. But oh, Corvus Abel. served okay. under Luca's father and said Theodanus was a good man. Alright. Abel. Sorry, I've been pronouncing his name wrong this whole time, but that's okay because he's an ass. Ramsey! What was Mortimer Ramsey doing in Karnaka? Mortimer Ramsey. The Duke couldn't have pulled off the coup without someone inside the City Watch. Okay. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Nothing to read over here. Oh god, there's so many rooms! You have such a big ship, Megan. This isn't good. Ooh, I will steal your food if you do not mind. Plantains, bread, I like it. Awesome. Alright. Cool. Alright, where else haven't we been? Through here. I can't unlock that. Can I pick it? No. Alright. What about over here? Hey, it's Delilah again. Why is this here? It's Delilah. Anton started it just before he was taken. They've got history. But he wouldn't say more. Really now? That's suspicious. I can't 100% remember what happened with Sokolov in the previous game. I thought I remembered him being a bad guy, but I might be misremembering. Presumably, at the very least, at this point, he is... We think, we think he's on our side, at least. Uh, such a big ship, so many things to stare at. Ooh, hello. Adermeyer Solution, Health Elixir, Sokolov's Notes. <laughs> oh my god! Oh no, are those blood flies? I don't like them. Oh, okay, alright, um... So close notes, Bloodfly Study. I've wondered whether I have another book in me. The Bloodfly Epidemic, uh, uh, compel coupled with basic information on life cycle and behavior, might make an excellent project for this old natural philosopher. Bloodflies are exotic insects, unlike anything else found in Circonos. I suspect they origina originated on the Pandisian continent. In groups of three or fewer, they're harmless. Individuals won't attack, leading me to speculate that each emits a scent that has a collective effect on larger numbers of bloodflies. Bloodflies are attracted to rapid movement and sound. Their nests can be broken apart, scattering the swarm, and in particular, the nests are quite susceptible to fire. The insects require fresh corpses to lay their eggs, which hash in bre hatch in breathtaking fashion after a very short time. Why do I want to say that doesn't sound pleasant at all. More corpses in the Circonan City, say during 
Excuse me. <sighs> Say during a crisis or plague, mean more blood flies. Interestingly, in the last part of a blood fly's life cycle, they calm a great deal. Leaving the swarm, they molt, causing the wings to drop off. Afterward, each blood fly lives a solitary existence. Very odd. Blood flies are largely restricted to the south, preferring warmer climates like certain aging natural philosophers. <laughs> oh, I'm so unhappy right now. Oh, they're like giant mosquito bee things. Ugh. And I hate bees and don't really like mosquitoes. And uh, uh. Okay, well. Journey to, uh, reflection on my journey to the Pandisian continent by Anton Sokolov. A colleague of mine owns a stunning map of the known world. Adorned with curlicues and sea beasts, it has a cherished spot over her mantle. She paid handsomely for it and was so bristled when I enumerated the various errors, chief among them, of course, the size and placement of the Pandisian continent. Oh, how cartographers are loath to show how small and distant our empire really is compared to that giant landmass, as if Pandisia were but a few days' journey from Iran. Every veteran ship captain knows that it takes months to reach those shores. I had no doubt that Pandisia was rich in resources, but a place must be understood if we ever hope to exploit its myriad treasures. These were my thoughts as I agreed to join the ill-fated expedition. And so it was, on the third day of the month of Earth, under calm gray skies, the great sea vessel Antonia Aquilo Akio, set sail with captain, crew, researchers, and myself, 38 of us total, for what would be the most terrifying and spiritually draining experience of my life. Well now... Drama, drama, drama. Alright. We got lots of stuff from Sokolov here. Anton Sokolov's investigation notes. Why can't an old man enjoy his last years in a warmer climate with good wines and spicy foods without stumbling into another nest of aristocratic vipers eager to coil around the heart of this empire? As I've learned more each week for months now, I've found my mind turning, turning over the movements beneath the surface here in Karnaka. Duke Luca Abel, and some inner circle that even seems to include Captain Mortimer Ramsey of the Dunwall City Watch, a betrayal that boggles the mind. How many others are involved? They aim their venom at our dear Empress, young en Emily, that much is certain, but when will they strike, and how? Do I dare spend another month gathering stray bits of esoteric information, linking it together with what we already know? Can we even afford another week? Or should Megan and I set out for Gristal tonight, taking this le leaky tub up through the canal? Corvo will not hesitate. He will act as soon as I hand over what I know. And if I'm too hasty, it might be his undoing, coming home to his native Circonos without some critical piece of knowledge of about this affair. And then there's the crown killer to worry about. If that fiend is part of Duke Abel's schemes, as I suspect, how long until the dreadful whale catches the Duke's eye? Wheels within wheels within wheels, my friends. <sighs> okay, audiograph. Or must I say, your Imperial Majesty? I have something that you and Corvo must hear at the first opportunity. It concerns the murders happening across the Empire, committed by this so-called Crown Killer. When I left Gristol years ago, I swore I'd never again take part in any further political matters. I've done my share of bad things, and some good before and after the Red Plague. But here in Karnaka, I've uncovered a terrible conspiracy against you. Here, at the bottom of the Empire, the cobblestones smell of death and corruption. I'm staying with an associate, Megan Foster, aboard her vessel, the Dreadful Whale. We'll leave for Dunwald in the morning, as soon as the tides are willing. I keep thinking of the way sweet Jessamine was stolen you and your father, and I fear it might be your turn to face such turmoil. I know Corvo would protect you with his life, but please do not trust anyone. There you are, old man. I was asked to pay you a visit. Wait, what's wrong with you? Megan! <clears throat> Off we go, Sokolov, to somewhere more private. Eek. All right, so Sokolov knew what was up, but he didn't have the opportunity to do anything about it. Uh, also, while that was playing, I looked up on my uh, phone and recalled that 
he was sort of a bad guy. He was doing, like, uh, kind of unethical experiments on people suffering from the rat plague, but uh, we eventually kidnapped... I think he was working for the, the bad guys, but we kidnapped him back, and he eventually ended up uh, kind of reconciling with people and uh, uh, curing the rat plague in the low chaos ending, which was the one that we took. Uh, so that's cool. All right, so we do want to get him back, given the opportunity. Uh, we'll keep looking around down here as well. Ew, rats! Megan, you got rats all over your ship, bro. Uh, anything down here? Really, I'm not sure why this area exists, but okay. 